Hello, everybody. Welcome back to WWTF. We're going to play this game with Mike C. And I'm Fred White. We're going to talk to you about what you're about. I got a question for you. Uh -oh. Now, we all know that the government shutdown was the longest. This jackass in the White House, he made it the longest shutdown in history. Mm -hmm. But something came to me. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's a conspiracy. Maybe I'm lunching. Maybe. I don't know. But I don't think that the reason why he opened up the government is what everybody else thinks. Did you watch the Super Bowl? No, I heard about it. <laughs> but you know the Patriots was in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, Tom Brady is his boy. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the government shut down, if it was still going on around the Super Bowl, some of the people probably wouldn't have been able to make it to the game. Okay. We'll see your point. So I think the jackass in the White House, he opened up that he opened the government back up because of his boy Tom Brady. Mm. It's possible. Because of the Patriots, right? Right. Because yeah. of because of the Patriots. Because if the if the TSA people weren't coming to work and not coming to get paid, the Super Bowl would have been maybe an empty place because a lot of people flew. A lot of people didn't drive uh, to Super Bowl. A lot of people flew. Mm -hmm. You would have had a rack of empty seats. You're right. You would. And that's not good for the owners. Mm -hmm. That's not good for the image of football. And that's his boy, Tom Brady. So I'm thinking maybe Tom Brady may have called them up or the NFL may have called them up and got into his ear and like, look, dog, we need to open this thing back up, man, because we got we got thousands of people flying. Um, I forgot where where it was. See, I, we're not big football fans. Especially this past Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, the same thing all over again. Mm -hmm. But I think that it opened back up due to something with football. And that's the only reason. Because he's threatening to shut it back down again. Of course. Well, by the time y'all see this video, it's probably already shut down. Yeah. So, before we start recording, mm -hmm. um, like Mike was saying, like, what episodes are we doing uh, today? And I was like, I didn't want, I want you to get your mind thinking because I didn't want to tell you. Mm -hmm. So, I want everybody to see your initial reaction mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. But, um... That's what I think. Am I alone in this conspiracy theory? I don't know. Y'all put it in the comments. What do y'all think? Because it's very funny that he decided to open up the government a couple of, maybe a week or so before the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. So you just imagine, let's say if Super Bowl happened in March, mm -hmm. the government probably would still be shut down. Mm hmm. We never thought about it like that. But very, very feasible. Mm hmm. Mm. Things make you go, mm. Hey, she was thinking just what I was thinking. Huh? Things make you go, mm. Mm hmm. Hey, that, that is, hey, man. Wow. Because he don't give a damn about the government employees. We can clearly oh, see yeah, that. Oh, yeah, most of them. Most of them. So he don't give a damn about anybody other than rich white folks. And the thing about it is, too, the whole government shutdown thing is another uh, caveat to that. Hey, no FBI, no investigation. All right. And then the crazy thing that he said, there cannot be no, what did he say? Unification with investigation. Yeah. Some crazy ass thing he said during the State of the Union. Mm -hmm. right. I guess he thought he was about to get applause for that joke, but it was almost like crickets up in there when he said that. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with an investigation. Can't have both. Yeah. Can't have both. He was looking around. Wow. But those indictments came even when the government was shutting down. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a big smoke screen. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's like let me cause a diversion yeah. so big that they're going to forget about this investigation. And I think that you no, know, 
Now, I don't think, but I know he's playing with people's lives, oh, yeah, we'll shutting start. down that government That's right. for that long of a period. So he'll have that government shut down, and that'll cover that investigation and all the other stuff that he got going on. Mm-hmm. And the government shutdown actually caused what he wanted for this crazy ass war. Yeah. So, I, that that's just my two cents on that, man. Um, I think that Tom Brady or somebody in the NFL or, or the NFL mm-hmm. called him up and said, hey, look, you need to open it back up for a while so we can get these people, uh, these Super Bowl people inside the stadium, that's these right. teams and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Because they that's had right, to fly right, right. Yep. as well. That's right. Mm-hmm. So... Hmm. I think that's why the the jackass in the White House actually did that. No empathy for anybody else other than himself. No, he's always been about himself. No. Yeah. Always. So, what do y'all think? Leave your comments down below. And I don't know, man. I, this is not 100% accurate. This is just something that I think mm-hmm. why he did that. But that's about it. So like always, you guys can hit us up at thegameshow.gmail.com. That's the Game Show with Nate. Don't forget to have a Facebook store page to find low, low prices. Don't forget to hit us up on lead time. Don't forget to subscribe. Come Games Club member. And please remember to like, subscribe, and follow all our social media networks. Join our CMS community and our website community where you can get some free stuff. You know it. And we'll see you next time on WWTF. We want the facts. The Game Show. See you next time. for watching. Thanks for watching. Okay, we got that out of the way. Let's get this other part.